hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today's session we will see some real time troubleshooting uh, for the web server okay so we have a web server and sometimes in the real time cases we face the issue related to disk space sometimes disk space getting full because of the web server lo application logs basically okay there might be application logs or database logs okay so in that situation uh, we don't want to increase the disk space okay so we can just truncate the file without any impacting on the applications and without restarting the services okay let's see how to do that so first we can just simply connect that server and login you can go through the putty as well okay so for now i am just going through the console base simply i can log in through the browser base okay just click on connect we will redirect to the console so then we can just go inside the sudo access okay sudo access basically and we can check this space okay as you can see we have only 11 11 mb this space available okay and you can see use this space is 8 gb total we have 8 gb and it's almost full okay and you can see the utilization 100 percent so we can just check which this space or uh, folder getting utilized you can simply run the command sh do you happen sh and star so it will check all the files here okay inside the root folder You can just scroll down and you can see here the disk space okay where folder has large size so we can go to where file where folder and we can again run the same command do you happen sh star and we can check okay, we can see the log file has 6.5 gb disk space utilize okay so we can go inside the log okay and again we can simply run same command basically we want to find out we are trying to find out which file are getting more utilized okay getting consuming more disk space so we can just as we can see nginx we have a web server nginx web server so it's utilizing more so we can go inside the nginx folder again we can run the same command so see uh, the nginx web server access log file getting more utilized and it's consuming lots of disk space okay so as of now we don't have any disk space it's 100 percent utilized okay so what we can do instead of running this command you know rm hyphen rf access log what will happen if we run the command then we need to restart the service again to generate the that access access dot log file so if you are working in a in a production server and you know obviously production server we can't simply run this restart command because the application might impact due, due to the restart of the services so what we can do simply we can use use the tricks greater than symbol and give the file name okay if you use this tricks we can simply just and press enter within a few seconds it will truncate the logs okay so you can see let's again check the disk space you can see the it's you know zero byte now and if we run again the command to check the disk space df h you can see the space gets freed okay we have some disk space available now so by using this greater than symbol and the access log file we can simply truncate the file and it will not impact any application servers if you are working on a production okay so un unnecessary increase the increasing the disk space it's not a good idea okay it might be you know, additional cost for the storage so by using uh, this way we can just truncate the access log files but just remember don't try to remove any important log files if you really need the log files for any, if suppose you are working in the banking sector or any sensitive data so just straightforward don't go and delete the delete or truncate that files first get the proper approval from your you know management management in the sense your team lead or some manager okay then you can if they are okay to truncate then 
obviously you can follow this process okay otherwise if there are any sensitive data suppose mysql data access log and that's required in for the auditing purpose then in truncating the, those files it's not a good idea so in that situation obviously you need to increase the disk space okay just remember these things this might this might be an interview questions how to you know truncate or delete the files or delete the data basically log the log data with rm commands okay so you can just explain about this okay that's all for the today's thank you